Hey, how's it going everybody? Burt Brian here and it's time for another episode of Catching a Buzz. So if this is your first time seeing one of these videos, basically, uh, this is kind of a beer review, but look, I'm no expert, I don't claim to be an expert, I'm just trying all kinds of new beers uh, as someone who enjoys food, who's been a cook all my life, who enjoys pairing alcohol with different kinds of food dishes. Um, I'm just giving my honest opinion on a lot of different craft beers. I definitely am somewhat of a connoisseur. I really enjoy trying all kinds of new craft beers that come around. So I just kind of basically try to share my thoughts and opinions on different beers while catching a buzz. So that's the whole point of all of this. Um, but the one I'm bringing you today comes from Founders Brewing Company, which is one that uh, I've had many different beers from them. Uh, they make some really good different IPAs or Centennial IPA and whatnot. Um, but, um, and I think there's a few really good specialty beers I've had from them as well. The one I'm trying today is their Dirty uh, Bastard beer. Uh, and this is a Scottish style ale. Again, I'm trying to step away from, I'm realizing that I drink way too many IPAs. I think I've had, I don't know, like what, 50 or 60 different IPAs over the course of the last, you know, four or five months or so. So I'm trying to expand out and try some other different beers along the way. Uh, this one comes in with 50 IBU, so it's again, it's about the midway mark as far as the bitterness units go. But it comes in with an 8.5% alcohol content, so definitely packs a, uh, a good punch. So, without wasting too much more time, pop the top on this bad boy. And let's see what we've got on the pour. This is a very dark beer. It looks thick. And we're going to give a little head here. Try to. Uh, yeah, again, a very, very dark beer. I'm not sure the uh, sun is kind of hiding behind the shadows, but it is a very dark beer uh, with not much of a head at all on it. It's strong, that's for sure. I can smell this sweetness to it, almost like a caramel sweetness. Mm. All right, let's give this thing a taste. I don't know, it almost has this this thickness to it, like a syrupiness, and the taste is just kind of a, I don't know, it's almost like a cough syrup or something, or like a throat uh, medicine of some kind. having to pause because there's a lot of cars going by but man so I'm not a fan of this one at all um, I'm not going to waste any beer that I, I'm drinking obviously I've got to finish this thing um, it's not so bad that I want to pour it out but it's pretty gross it's not one of my favorites I would recommend avoiding this one unless you're very adventurous uh, if you enjoy some of the more, I guess, the Scottish style ales, which perhaps I'm not a fan of. I haven't really generally been a big fan of a lot of the Scottish ales that I've tried. I'm trying to enjoy it by drinking more, but I just can't get rid of this. You see my face? It's not even a bitter face. I don't know. This is just the face of... This isn't good. It's not something that I like, but it's got 8.5% per volume, and... I spent some money on this shit and I'm not going to waste it, so that's the face of I'm going to drink this, but I'm not going to like it. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I would not recommend buying this beer at all, um, unless you're adventurous and again, if you if you like those kind of these kind of Scottish ales. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching everybody, I appreciate all the support and love as always. Uh, don't forget to join me on all the various social networking sites, links are down below in the description. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The more you uh, share my videos with your friends, the more you know people might start subscribing to my channel. I'm only 16 away from hitting the uh, big 500 mark. I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, stay toasty, my friends. Ugh. not having it.